Well, folks, I don't really know how else to put this, but Mario and Luigi Brothership has leaked online. And you might think that, oh, that's crazy. It's two and a half weeks early. Well, somebody got their hands on an entire box of physical copies. Somebody has already purchased them, has a tracking number already, and, and has already been shipped and will be arriving to them this week. Look, we're not talking, obviously, about the game being out there in ROM format yet, but it's going to happen this week. Uh, what's interesting is this is the earliest a game has leaked that's been published by Nintendo during the Switch generation. The previous earliest leaked one was Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, but this is now two and a half weeks out from launch. And this is pretty insane. We're going to talk about this and more. Uh, if you want to stay as up to date on Nintendo news as possible, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are on a road to 140,000 subscribers. So uh, let's go over first to this Makari post. This post is put out by this at uh, Ali owl person they have zero reviews uh but you can see as we go through here you know they got you know a physical copy in hand right there uh a whole box of them as you see there uh you're seeing you know, available on nintendo switch uh and then you're seeing all the physical copies laid out there with all of the shipping envelopes you see that she's gonna be shipping them in those envelopes uh you can see the inside of the box there uh so that very much looks pretty legit you can see a close-up of the cartridge here uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, these a little bigger for you guys. Uh, you can see her playing the game on a Switch, just showing that it's legit. Uh, showing images. Granted, a lot of these images were technically things from the trailer, but the trailers were showing probably the be very beginning of the game. So, uh, but there you go. There's your splash screen with the new game. Uh, that's obviously not something we've seen in a trailer. So there you go. Uh, there's the back of the box there. So uh, it says a brothership adventure begins. Mario and Luigi set sail on Ship Shape Island to help their new friend Connie reconnect her fragmented land. Uh, combine the bros to help explore. Timing and teamwork are key to victory. Nail your button presses to trigger attacks dodges counterattacks team out for powerful rolls attacks you see it is complete single player there is no uh no other way to play it also you'll see that it's made in unreal engine so they're using uh unreal engine for this game i find that to be uh pretty cool there uh so yeah uh made in japan all that jazz uh pretty interesting that this got out there there's actually another listing for this on mercari uh if i can uh, get it here right here this is the one that's sold and this is by the same person, uh, but this was just one copy. The interesting is, you know, she's selling it for $45, which is cheaper than retail, even if you include shipping. Even if you include shipping, it is cheaper than retail. So I do find that to be uh, interesting. Um, and I originally found out about this over with Nintendo Deals. Uh, he was just posting images from this exact same uh, feature here uh, from this exact same listing on Mercari. So if you saw this on Nintendo Deals, now you know where they got it from. It was this Mercari listing. I will link the Mercari listing. Look, I'm not going to tell you guys if you should buy this or not. Uh, that's obviously up to you individually. But what I will say is it's rather unfortunate that this keeps happening. And the thing is, like, it's physical copies that are getting out there. This isn't going to stop when Switch 2 comes out. Now, being able to play the ROMs in an emulator might not be happening uh, when Switch 2 comes out for a while because there's going to be uh, new keys and new ways that you're going to need to play with. But um, it is interesting that these physical copies are becoming a real problem for Nintendo. And, and we talk about this all-digital future and how Nintendo wants to cut down on leaks. Stuff like this makes you feel like Nintendo over time is going to start taking physical copies and maybe even not having them ship uh, early. So if you order a physical copy, you might not even be able to pick it up day one in a store because that's the only real reason they can prevent these leaks at this point. It has become so rampant with Nintendo games that Nintendo just has to not send physical copies to stores so early. Uh, and they do send them early, uh, intentional. It's intentionally sent early because they want the stores to have them. They want to advertise them. They want them to put the boxes on shelves. They want people to get hyped for the release. But it, it, unfortunately, there's a negative sign to that. And this is a case where if we uh, go back to the listing here, you'll see it's a case where there's a whole box of them. You know, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. A whole box of 24 of these bad boys uh, makes it out into the public. And, like, it, it's just... 
My biggest fear is uh, that we're going to have an all-digital future or we're going to have physical copies come a week later uh, or digital releases before physical because that's what stuff like this could do. This is the real consequence. And again, I'm not telling you what to do if you should go buy these or not. Uh, clearly, I don't think this person, I don't know if they stole them. I actually don't know how this person got their hands on it. If, if they're stolen, if they run a game store, uh, I, I have no idea because they're being sold for less than MSRP. So I'm assuming they want to profit off it. So I'm kind of assuming that uh, people just, I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't really don't know what to assume, I guess. I, I, I feel like these are probably stolen. I just, I don't know. Guys, I'm, I'm very... I'm just very distraught. I'm not even Nintendo. Like, as upset as I am that this is happening, think about how Nintendo must feel. Nintendo hates that their games leak. And two and a half weeks early, which, again, this is just the physical copy two and a half weeks early. I would assume the ROM that's going to be online is probably going to be about two weeks early. Because you figure two and a half weeks, give, a, give two to three days for shipping. Someone's going to dump it. It'll be out there pretty quickly. It'll be out there this week if I had to bet. I just, man... I'm scared. I've never, you know, we, we talk about an all digital future um, just because that's the way the market is going and there's more digital sales than physical sales and how it's sort of inevitable the way it was on PC. You know, PC inevitably went all digital for the most part as well. There are still some physical games out there, but PC is basically all digital. And that was going to come to console someday. It's just when we see this it makes me scared that nintendo might push for all digital faster than we want and it's going to start by if there's ever a switch 2 during the switch 2's generation that's digital only that'll let you know that nintendo is starting to lean towards hey we need to start phasing out physical because we're tired of the damn leaks like this doesn't happen if we don't have physical copies um so Take that for what you will, guys. I'm not really sure what you want to do with this information. Uh, go ahead and get all those filters up if you're looking to not be spoiled for this game because spoilers are sure to be coming out rapid fire later this week. Uh, I, I just, man, I'm, I'm just disappointed. I can't imagine how Nintendo feels right now. Um, God, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime. I'll catch you in the next video.